How is everybody doing? Lambo here. I'm out on the ocean. It is, what day is it? It is Sunday, January 7th. And uh, I'm going to invite you during this little, however long this is, maybe 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour, we'll get going. But this is, uh, this is kind of some tips on how to get better at modding. Like, just some recommendations on how I was able to learn so fast, and uh, maybe they'll help you. Uh, if you like that idea, slap that like button right now, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, if you haven't gone on our social network and checked out the courses that we've been making, I got a whole whole bunch of friends, we're all kind of pitching in together and we're building courses and adding them to the site so you guys can, if you want to go learn, it's more than, it's just trying to make it as easy as possible for everybody so we all can like mod together, I don't know, it's, it's fun and I hope you guys join in on the action there. Uh, I also I have a I want to thank all the modders that are submitting all these courses to me. I've been so busy with fishing, which I got one more trip with fishing. I'm out on the ocean right now. Uh, see if I can show you. If you can see the water out there. So there's it's kind of messy because the ocean was gnarly out, but yeah, yeah, that was it. But thank you dudes for uh, submitting your courses and stuff and I will check them out and check them for selling errors or what, what not, you know, and we'll get them on there so people can register and sign up for these classes. Super cool, uh, super cool. I'm, I'm way excited about that. So I just want to say thanks. This is what you do to mod better, guys. I, uh, I left land and uh, before I left, I went through the mod site and I kind of like found quite a few mods that I'm like, man, you know, that modder put a lot of time and effort into that. And uh, I like to go in and admire their coding and kind of you learn little tricks when you kind of rip apart the study. So here I want to go in, I want to dive into a couple mods with you. And uh, I learned a couple things. I just figured I would teach this technique to you. Maybe you can look into mine. I've been building my mod. So to show you really fast, this is the new UH-60 Blackhawk I've been working on. Uh, really neat helicopter if you haven't had a chance to see that. I uh, watched some of my other videos, I, a few back, it's the Blackhawk helicopter. I got tons of pictures all over, but uh, I spent a lot of time in that. <coughs> but I'm designing up the mod so you can learn. If you open up the mod XML file, you know, I'm trying to go through and modders know that this is pain in the butt, so I as I remember things, I'll write it down and I'll put it in there. Just little notes, maybe it'll help you guys uh, become better modders. So like this one has a toggle animated, animated part tutorial by me. Um, you know, just kind of little things of what I believe they are, what they mean. And I've had quite a few people write on feedback, give me other ideas and other ways you can do things and things you can add. And uh, I think that's really cool. And I want to, I want to create like a code resource site. Uh, as much as I can, because I lose code all the time. I lose a mod. I'll be out here on the ocean and not have access to any of that stuff. Uh, you know, and if I don't download it before I go out, I won't have what I needed. You know, so I try to get all my textures and everything just as much as possible and build up a mod as best I can. Uh, but I like building my, you know, so I want to make tutorials on, I already have a light tutorial and here's extra code in there and a camera tutorial. And, uh, I went through and I designed up a tutorial for basically every feature that I added to this Blackhawk and I, I'm, I'm making courses out of it, so like how to make things fly, how to how to add dirt fly up on the ground. Just anything and everything that we can think of to teach little tricks, we're trying to design courses for it. So I really hope you join in on the fun there. Uh, so go to our site, pick a profile, check it out, become part of the community. Uh, I do a lot of polls and I try to do a lot of feedback. and okay you don't like something then let's move on out here so uh, um, very positive place young crowd so uh, we keep everything constructive criticism is welcome but not being rude it's a community we're here to build each other up not tear each other down so if, if you got one of those grenade monsters kind of type people there's other groups for you Get my brain back here. So I will 
Oh, I want to open up some mods here that I've been looking at. So one mod that I downloaded was uh, by the Gita. And I love his mods because they're very clean. He usually has really clean and his is just a good a good uh, reference to what a really clean mod looks like. Uh, and let's, let me find his right here, this guy. I want to give him a lot of credit. You know what I mean? Just like, we're not going to save this, but a really really good modder I really admire his work he's does a clean everything it's very simple even his folders are super clean super clean uh, he's a good one to model after and uh, th that's a trick of getting better is finding people that you enjoy their modding uh, Winston uh, many of you have known Winston mods he's a uh, he's, he's got the little minion guy uh, well, he's, he's been super cool with me. He's, uh, I've asked him, you know, we've helped each other out as much as we could, and he's, he's a great resource, you know, to look for some of his. I've been trying to get him, to, if he gets time, to make some tutorials on uh, on the site and upload them. You know, he's got a ton of knowledge, and he's been at it for a long time, and I, I really admire that guy. Really admire that guy. I, I and, I, and I noticed there's quite a few other groups um, I, I kind of started this this stomp for tutorials and courses and stuff like that and I'm noticing all these other Facebook groups are kind of all building courses and tutorials as well and I love that because it the more we build together we can eventually it's all going to get assimilated you know and into uh, into just a, a hive of knowledge to learn how to mod you know if you don't like something about the game you're now a, you know you could create the game your own you don't have to wait on you know developers do a great job and you know this coding which is great it's very beautiful by the gita i am saying that right Vegeta. 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 something like that um, but he's got really pretty code then you look at the dire this is an actual tractor here this code is gonna blow your mind you know what i mean he's they went through this right here. Let's just start running through some code here. I'll run through and kind of show you. I'm sure if you're trying to learn about modding, store data, that's all pretty self-explanatory there with the tags. These are tags right here, name. You click on one and they highlight. It means they are open and closed perfectly, you know prices, daily upkeep, you know, and you look at these mods and you go, okay, that's how my mod needs to be. So, you go over, I got a ton of, ton of projects I'm trying to work on for you guys right now, but you, basically, most of the, all the code originally came from Giants, right, so, they, they said, this is how our stuff's going to work. <coughs> so, this store data is the format that they want that the game is going to recognize. Okay, so that's the start of our. That's a, a little small section inside of our all of our XML. So first off, we need to tell the coding that you know all this right here, this very top piece. This is uh, basically telling it what code you use, certain just stuff that you don't need to worry about. Just copy the code. Copy the code. Okay, next step, you're going to have your vehicle. Okay. So we're going to name this. Your vehicle. I think I spelled vehicle, right? Okay. Next up, you have your annotation. This, it doesn't have it here, but we should go through and put it in. I would just recommend... Yeah, uh, copy and get one. It says this right here: copyright giant software, all rights reserved. Just to give those guys credit for taking the time to write this code for us, and so maybe you don't get in trouble. 
I don't know. I don't know if that's a myth or what, but I've heard Ramble 145 talk about it quite a bit. So we'll, we'll, we'll go with the flow on that one. So this vehicle flow, let's just say this. Let's say... Code examples. Example, you gotta save it as an XML file. Boom. Okay, so now we got... I like to just go split screen like this, because then you can go right down the line. So we're gonna go back to Spire. The Spire has some interesting code in it. Um, on this side over here, you know, you got your name. Mod name. Your power, zero to a 4,000, you know. Max speed, zero to 4,000, you know, like realistic in your own world, whatever you want. Function. It's really kind of touchy in this area. Uh, you can not get your mod to load if you like wrong function or if you don't have your function stacked perfectly. So you got functions, and then one of the functions is this. It says all that in German that it's written, right? And then it has a close tag at the end of it. <laughs> Make sure it has that. If not, mod will load. Boom. So when you're checking for errors or anything like that, that's a num that's a good place that I struggled with for a long time. Uh, your image, this won't not load your mod. You'll just know because it won't show the image. Here's your price. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, rotation. That's if you. You don't have to worry about anything here except for tractors. You know, or where, where, where the category is. Some of this stuff, I, and honestly you could probably delete all that, but I still don't know what any of that is. This is tractor related, that field thing, so I'm gonna, my next. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Okay, so we got our store date in there. Next up, it's, it knows what it is, how it, you know what I mean? It knows what it is, how it goes. Okay, that's my brain thinking here. So next up, we need some wheel configuration. We need to tell the game we want to derive it. So I'm just going to copy the first code here, wheel configuration. And we're going to have to make some code inside of that. So we'll go like this, create another one. So I got our close set, open it up a little bit, and now we do our first configuration, which just pull from any mod. We're just gonna go to standard, right? Standard, zero price, wheel configuration. Now we gotta have our close tag. It looks like this wheel configuration, our close tag for that configuration. That makes sense there. So, those two light up because those are different tags and now now you're listing off individual configuration wheel configuration okay 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 so now we need to tell it where the wheels are in the mod so we'll copy this guys okay so we're going to tell it the wheels are right there you know this is this is where i am you know those closed tags what's up homie so we got our wheels on there and you know you line up your where the wheel is and then um, like this looks like it's four wheel drive or, or not four wheel but front wheel drive this is cool and then you'd have your file name this isn't really a tutorial on wheels so just kind of teaching you tricks but also right so here's a cool trick that I wanted to get to uh, object change note so when you say so you want a certain wheel to display a certain uh, ad or something along those lines, or like an image of the wheel size, or uh, you want something different. So you select this wheel type, but it makes these things invisible. Uh, that's what you'd use this object change. And uh, you'll throw that right after the wheels tag, right? And so, and what it's gonna ask for is the node, you know, where this object is on the, on the, on the xenograph inside of the, the giant editor um, GP. and then uh, is it is it is it visibility active right now 
that's basically going to be true or no. Uh, and you, you can kind of go through and uh, when you dig into mods like this, it's super fun to learn because there's like this is super good mod. This is this is beautiful mod. Like <laughs> we're not even out of the wheels yet, and I've scrolled a lot. We're only just a quarter into the mod. Now we're just barely getting to the differential. That is serious like work business. I really admire that. And see the uh, promoter configuration. That's see that's a beautiful part right there. All this configuration. So when they have this motor, it has all that. See, I didn't even know that. That's really cool that you could put inside that configuration that it'll have that start sound. <laughs> or if you know, say you install a bigger, bigger engine, it'll have this sound. That's super, super awesome. And then also the same thing with object change node. You can all put that inside of uh, the motor configuration. So we are definitely going to get some of that code right there. That is, uh, we'll just start with the configuration. So got that wheel configuration. Right. That's some good code right there. That's beautiful modding. Oh, so much to grab. Okay, start with the Sorry, the boat's moving back and forth. I'm like trying to maintain my that's the start of the configuration anyways. so now we got the motor got all this we're gonna slim this down quite a bit but I don't know why I hit copy you can just click and drag we're gonna slim this down to where I just have my Just have some of the code so that's neat you can actually put the sounds and stuff inside of an actual configuration go like this put your end tag in there boom that's a working configuration right there and it would have whatever sounds right there that's cool did know that that's this is why i like to dive into mods you can do that then you could like idea is you could have just a basic car say a muscle car right and it's all beater up condition and then you select souped up and it switches out the motor for a blower and it has a whole different sound to it a whole feel everything like that um, that's just one idea that you could do not bad right kind of scroll down and see what else you see this is going to probably be quite a bit of this motor configuration so and this mod's got the gearbox installed, gearbox add-on. Uh, we're not going to go into that in this tutorial. That's pretty cool, but we're not going to do that. Uh, fuel capacity. See, and uh, so we'll go into more of this steering. This basically tells it what it's, how fast the steering will steer and turn left and right maximum. Uh, cameras, these are your cameras in the game. Usually your first ones are outdoor and your second ones are indoor. Components, this is the main rigid body. Uh, it obviously has two. It's a tractor, it probably has a, a rear end uh, where they enjoin, they rotate back and forth like that. There's light stage. I've already done a tutorial on light stage. Beacon light. Uh, this is the passenger script. When you see Belly far or... Going to belly far. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my buddy's rocking out on the boat. But this is uh, this is the passenger script to get people to be able to ride in along with you. Uh, hey, I Ramble 145's got a great tutorial on that. So make sure you check out. I'm gonna hit him up about making making some tutorials man so smart let's get some of that knowledge out of his head um, it's got indoor fuel and rpm displays so those are animations in order to have that you have to have a animated vehicle right here Ooh, animated vehicle you need that specialization inside your mod description to operate these indoor HUD uh, mirrors that's pretty self-explanatory you just attach those up to the up to the nodes. 
uh, exit point index 7 enter reference point at the vehicle this is the character node basically tells you where it shows the character that you see traffic collision it tells the video just tells it uh, the car is driving around to stop and not hit you oh that's a special Lua code that I haven't really played with yet attack down hydraulic exhaust that's telling the telling the game where you set the transform group for the exhaust and the file path to the exhaust and what colors they're going to be based off of uh, the RPM of the engine exhaust flap is pretty cool it's what spins that's how I make my engine rumble on my war rig attach a joint uh, I'm not going to get into that right now that's a whole mess in its own oof dynamic hose Nice. Well, that's probably beautiful. We're not gonna get into that. That's some that's some pretty code though. Wouldn't mind learning that a little bit more. Front loader configuration. Vehicle type configuration. This guy's got it quite a bit. You know, he's using this object change node. There's obviously a lot of parts on this mod that just you when you select different uh, body styles, wheel styles, engine styles, you know, it's it's gonna give you different visibility. There's a lot to this. Uh, mod very very customized that very is gorgeous gorgeous took a while to write this attacher joint configuration um yeah he did and then during that as well he's got object change nose again moving part a lot of this has to do with uh, the attacher joint, all these moving parts. Indoor sound, that's cool. Animation, these are, uh, eh, it looks like motor. Eh. Getting into the, yeah, see there's cab light. Looks like uh, it start time, end time, visibility, that's cool. You can actually set, you know, uh, when you get into the vehicle, you know, for the first time, have a light on that turns off, that fades off. That's pretty nifty. Silo King, that's cool, okay. Animated parts, so these are things that obviously get moved around a lot. Rotating, a lot of rotating, probably windows, door opener trigger, warning signs, IC components. That's that's pretty neat. Um, where it's got the little markers on it, where you can hold shift or space bar depending on which you have to set it, and you can adjust it. I've been working with that a lot lately, so expect some mods out like that. And then uh, this has to do with dumping. Uh, you have stuff loaded in the vehicle, and what areas it'll go, and how high it'll, high how high it'll drop it. And this code is to make it washable along with the code up here that makes washable, that code right there. Those two codes are needed for a washable mod. And then your sheem overlay, you can get your own sheem. And you do that by, see this sheem overlay and it has file and it says vehicle sheem and then file selected. And then it says vehicle sheem selected CND, but it's referring to the dollar sign data as two. Well, if you uh, come with me over to my Blackhawk really fast, I'll show you a code you can use. Sheens. Wherever my, that right here. So you can actually redirect that path. I have it redirected to my textures folder where I created my own sheen, which uh, is the Blackhawk itself. And then I inverted the colors for it being selected and now uh, when you have the black box selected, it has a little sheen down in the bottom right hand corner of the game. Pretty nifty, right? But uh, I think that's going to be uh, kind of it for this moment that I'm kind of playing around with mods. I'm going to kind of go through and continue to learn a little bit. But that's my tips and tricks, guys. Is you want to take a mod that you're like, man, I really like this mod, dive into it and check out how it works and all the ins and outs and I really encourage you guys, uh, if you do have 
modding knowledge or anything along those lines, share it with our community. And if you don't know how to share it, please go check out our website, uh, lambomods.com. And on there, you have the ability to become a teacher and submit your own modding courses for others to take. Uh, I will be uh, announcing a contest. This is just kind of uh, uh, something in the works. I'm going to be giving away anywhere from $100 to $150 uh, certificate to, to Turbo Squid and also 3DX to the modder that uh, wins that month for the best course. I'm trying to set this up uh, with donations and sponsorships. So uh, start getting your tutorials ready, guys. And uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna, i am got some fishing to do, and I'm excited to get back out here and get you guys some more mods I've been working on. So I will see you guys uh, later.